welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new my name is bernice everybody's big sister i'm really enjoying my hair it's so healthy and so long it's grown so much recently had it relaxed maybe um a week ago a little over a week ago i love the way that it feels right now but it's dirty i had like ipondo if you've been watching my videos for the last a week or so you'll know that i've had a pond for the longest time and i was tired i'm sick and tired of it so today i'm getting it washed and i'm getting braids done it's a my it's a lot of chilling with vanilla and pusilitz at brush beauty barn pusilitz was getting her nails done they were drinking some cognac and i'm like what mood is this they were playing gom I'm like, what mood is this? And they're like, girl, it's so much time. We're about to be outside. And I'm like, you guys are bad influences. I'm gonna need new friends. Um, because these ones, the budget done, guys. Any people are young shula. So Pusilita was getting like a whole bright set done. Like she had a rainbow hand going on with her nails. So maybe I don't know. I'm usually a neutral type of girl. But maybe I'll be explorative today. We'll see. Zanele said she just wants me to do something different today. So this is a one out of the Speaking of Zanele, she's literally waiting for me to come and get my nails done. Then after that, we're getting our hair washed. Then after that, we're going to Nancy um, to get our hair done. It's like why you mention Nancy. As Nancy, guys, I think a lot of you. I'm not giving myself. I'm not tooting my own horn. But a lot of you, um, a lot of my subscribers have since been doing their hair gunensi as well so now it's like guala even more and guys like you had to wait for an appointment and now the waiting time is like doubled because so many of you have now asked for her number and all of that and but i'm done shim i'm done i'm done i'm not giving out nancy's number anymore you guys will have to hustle it on your own because mind you it's an inconvenience i had to wait almost two weeks for my own appointment so mm -mm. Anyway, it's in your brush beauty ish. Now, kind of saying yes, I was with the brush beauty band. We're sending us on Sunday, but we're sending amongst our holy chance. Literally, I've been like this for like a week or even more, which is weird for me because you know I always have my nails done, um, but I've just been a son of God for like two four weeks. No hair, no nails. My toes were a mess. She, had, she did my toes the other day though. So yeah. I anyway, guys, this is gonna be a self care vlog. I'm gonna be maintaining myself, restoring order where needed. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here don't forget to like this video comment down below that's what we do let's go to brush beauty barn literally when i say i'm going to brush beauty barn this is what i mean Ta -da! i'm here All right, guys, I just finished doing my nails. Can I be honest? I hate them. They're giving me anxiety. And it's so sad because I'm the one who chose. I'm whispering because I don't want to be heard. I'm the one who chose the colors, the design. I told her what to draw. She did exactly what I asked her to do, and I hate it. I just love simple things. I don't know what I was doing. Like me, pity peer pressure because like I said yesterday, Pussy Little did her nails and they were like bright and different colors and I was like, oh, mine are like, okay, let's see if we can get a shot. They're pretty, but I would rather have a plain color. I think I'm gonna ask her to make them plain later on. I don't know, she's probably gonna kill me. But anyway, I'm just, um, I am happy to have done nails. So yeah, I just combed my hair. I tried to comb my hair. Like, I'm going to the salon. So what's the use of like, trying to 
trying to do too much. If you see me in between now and then, I must know it's the salon. So yeah, my appointment at Nancy's is at one. It's twelve now, so I need to go and get my hair washed, and then we're off to fancy Nancy. Let's go. <laughs> It is the next day now. Um, getting out clean is all man. Getting out clean now because it means we shall be busy manje. So we decided to go to the manje. We don't want to go to the clean. So manje has boiler. We go to the end. It cooks screw. We go to the end. It cooks screw. We motion jam. Ah! I need shy with this game. So we are clean guys, but I am going to go to clean. So I'm nursing as cleaner guys. Morning, Buza. Get cleaner. Hey guys, so I'm good to get. I am rushing. I'm so late. I just wanted to update you real quick what's happening. I am going to Beleza del Amor. I'll, I'll correct the pronunciation when I get there because I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I've got a waxing appointment there. I'm doing <laughs> pray for me. Hollywood wax and I'm doing underarm wax. I've waxed my underarms before. It really wasn't bad. So this is going to be the maybe third time waxing my underarms but it's gonna be the first time waxing my vazoo and i'm so scared for my baby girl i'm so scared for my vazoo like yo uh, uh yo but i'll i'll take you guys along with me uh my girl obviously going to get introduced me to the spa and said you know i come through so i'm gonna go i'm waiting for a lift um i'm sure he's on his way now and then i'm gonna see you guys when we get there i decided to wear this dress from rfo because it is like it doesn't require much all i had to do was just put on a bag and slides yeah i'll see you guys when i get there let me just quickly make sure that i've got everything that i need and we'll catch up is this too much is this too much because i don't think it's too much guys i'm gonna be selling shades um i'm gonna show you guys um probably before the end of this vlog my shades from style 013 they're so beautiful so probably after the wax i'm just gonna run some errands and then i'm gonna end up lunching whenever i do like a maintenance day or a self-care day i always end it with a good meal because i feel like that's such like an essential part of self-care you know what i mean also today is the first day of sober september so my lunch will be with some sparkling apple tizer or whatever maybe i'll have a salad i don't know i'm turning 28 next month and i want to be 28 looking great you know what i mean so i'm trying to be very strict with everything this september so that when october comes into my is so anyway these are so good the quality insane okay so I the lift. that's why i'm continuing talking to you guys pray for my vagina pray for my vagina pray for my vagina pray 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 for my okay my lift is probably like pulling up let me go
I just arrived at, how do you pronounce this? Beleza. Beleza del Amor. Yes. I just arrived at Beleza del Amor Beauty Spa. It is the cutest. It is so, so cute. Already so happy to be here. Um, I'm about to get waxed. I'm so terrified. It's my first time waxing down there. So it's going to be a bit uncomfortable. But I'll tell you guys how everything goes. I don't know if I'll be able to like vlog in there. Obviously, I'm not going to show you my vagina, please. But I will sort of give you like a overview of everything and yeah stay tuned okay so i just told her that i'm scared of doing hollywood and what do you say about that it's beneficial to women because once it's clean down there you'll never want it any other way mm. no more razors mm -hmm. skin becomes soft mm -hmm. follicles being taken off from the roots yeah and you never have um, uh, razor bumps, yeah. Bands. Okay, that sounds good to me. That sounds good. Okay, let's do Hollywood. I'm scared, but I'll soldier on. <laughs> it's so pretty in here, you guys. And it's so calm. The music is perfect. Like, I'm so excited. And scared at the same time. Javel is so dry, look bigger than a cocoa. Is it dry? Yeah. It doesn't bother me. I'm not a gynecologist. Seriously. As soon as it got cool, I was up. Do you get men come for the Hollywood? Yes. Yeah. Black men? Black men. <laughs> wow. They now, they're not uptight anymore about it. Ne? And they flex it. Wow. Most of them only want to be touched and, uh, mind you, this is painful. No, there's no way you're going to be up. Yeah. With such pain. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I am done. I am clean. I'm smooth. <laughs> I'll tell you guys all about how the Hollywood wax went later on when I get home. So let me just get dressed and then I'm going to walk over to Janelle's. It's literally so close and have a salad. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm at Chinelli's now. Um, it's so awkward for me to vlog where I'm sitting because there's like, in fact, the whole restaurant is packed with like Caucasian men, uh, probably on business meetings, and it just looks so crazy talking to myself. So, anyway, um, I think I'm gonna have seafood. I'm really, I don't know, I'm inkling for seafood. And then after this, I'm going home. I'm going home. Okay, I lied. I didn't go home. I ended up at the mall. And how cute is my outfit? Guys, look who has pajamas. Look who has pajamas. Your sister has pajamas, pajamas. Mm -mm. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to have pajamas, you guys. You remember I told you a couple of vlogs ago. And that was and it does not have pajamas. So I decided to buy myself a pair. Well, I didn't really decide. Let me not lie. It was pure coincidence. The other day, really, we were that side by Westpac, eh, and we walked past Jam Jam, and these ladies were like, and then Sangena, and then she showed us everything that was on sale, and she literally insisted that we buy something. <laughs> and she basically forced me to buy these pajamas. But I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at her. They were a hundred and something. I just took off the tag, man. They were a hundred and something. I got them for 
65 rand which is a major bargain i'm not mad i'm not mad they fit so well like in the mazana i can give you successful mara njoba say lala ikuti kanje will my dreams not come true if i go to bed like this hey boo come on now <laughs> Anyway, um, my laptop literally decided to restart as I was trying to fi fix the copyright issue on my vlog. So anyway, let me settle down and tell you guys about how my day went. Eh, my figure really like my figure, my figure, my figure, my figure. I'm going to come as I'm going to put the What do you want to drink? I'm like, oh, it's just some water, cause you know, so this September skinny girls were bad, health freaks, whatever, <laughs> hot girl summer vibes. You know what I mean? Pour me some water as they were setting up the room, and then um offered me some snacks waiting a beautiful waiting area by the way smells so fresh so clean the little spa music playing in the background it's just so beautiful and then um i went in for my wax i was really nervous you guys like i was really nervous because literally um when you google hollywood wax you will find out that it's like entirely your entire pubic area they shave i mean they wax it all off like even that little section that divides your buns of steel that little section also gets attention so i was nervous about being like that exposed but um i first of all asked her like are you not like uncomfortable with this she's like i'm basically a gynecologist at this point I really, really, it's just like, it's just normal to me. It doesn't shock me or anything like that. I was like, yeah, but it is just, a, it's just another vagina. It's just another vizuzol. So it's not a biggie. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to relax. And then I relaxed. And as soon as I relaxed, it was all like the hard part was over. So basically the discomfort comes when they apply the little, the, the, the wax. Cause it's hot obviously, but it's not like, burning hot you just feel a certain amount of warmth and then it's chilled it's chilled and then when she prepares to rip you can sort of like feel good like, I'm gonna do a and then after a donza she applies a little pressure where she pulled and literally the pain is over like it's like a split second kind of pain like it's over like it's not something you'd be like, oh, I'd never do it again. Or, oh my God, I, I don't have tolerance for pain. It's like, it's over before you even process that you were in pain. Like, I really am going to be a waxing girl now because I am simply, I puppy. It feels good, you guys. Like, it's so smooth. Okay, it's not entirely smooth because apparently I have like hectic hair. Like, I have. Is no less than Yes, Lala, she didn't say that. But she did say some of my hairs in the upper region are very hard. So I will need to come back after two weeks to pull those out. But she really did a good job. Like, I'm still quite satisfied with what I see. So I'm like, like, I'm still pretty happy. Like, it's when I touch her, like I was, as I was changing, I touched her. I was like, oh, girl, is that you? Oh my word, it's like I never even knew you. <laughs> but yeah, man, I mean, I highly recommend waxing. My armpits look great. You know, like I've shaved, I mean, I've waxed my armpits before and I really feel like I, sh I definitely need to normalize waxing because it reduces the darkness in, in, in the armpits. And Amanda, it's spring, Mugil. It is summertime. We're about to be out. We need to be smooth. We need to be fresh. We need to be breezy. You know what I mean? So I highly recommend going to Beleza del Amor for a wax. I'm pretty sure that their other services are also spectacular because the staff really top notch. So go there, guys. Please. <laughs> okay now let me show you what i bought at i hope i didn't leave anything out oh it cost 350 for a hollywood hollywood wax and as i spoke to her uh how about how often it needs to be done she said it depends on how quickly your hair grows if it grows quickly then you're gonna need to do it within three or four weeks 
if it doesn't she spoke on her own personal experience that she waxes like every other month because her hair doesn't grow that hectically also she says that the more you wax the less hectic it is especially for me because i have like is no less dreamy. she said that the more i wax my hair will adjust and get with the program get with the program okay it's again convulsing thing in care oh guys i forgot to mention it is a black owned business black female owned business i'm like i don't know if you guys know already but like i'm so passionate about supporting black female and females in business so I really would appreciate you guys also jumping on that bandwagon and going to support Beleza Del Amor. Black owned, black women work there. I just, I love to see her. I just, I really love to see her. Anyway, Gibuya Gasata, Nepal. Gibuya Gasata. Hey, I stopped vlogging because um my phone died, was dying. It was like on really low, low, low battery. Also this thing of like, carrying my phone around taking footage of everything it's awkward sometimes it's angkhalil sometimes angkhalil guys but anyway we are satani got this came yeah i came i went in there because i wanted some eco gel and some deodorant and of course i didn't just buy that so but anyway i ended up buying eco gel i ran out of eco gel and you ever into mazana is cleanly Joanne is clean. <laughs> I love how I'm sticking to my story. Joba is clean. So, I'm so And I'm so tired of sitting there. I just want to relax. You know what I mean? Like, literally, the best lighting is by my table there. So, yeah, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, in terms of Joba is clean. This is the end of my ages. You know what and then I bought some body lotion. Um, I think I'm halfway through mine. So better safe than sorry. Oh, and then they have a promo if you use Dove products. This one's for you. So this is also by Dove. So it was like two by, and then you get the cheapest one free. So I bought two. I managed to get two Yama deodorant. I love this deodorant. I believe in this deodorant. You guys know about it already if you're new to my channel this um let me try to get it right yeah this is the dove even tone moisturize with a quarter moisturizing cream in it if you want your armpits to either lighten or stay light this is the girl i love her i love her i swear by her and then i saw sinovuyo mm. Sinovuyo, Miss Love Kings, posting about this or posting this. Um, why? Yeah, okay. I need a camera, guys. Um, Tummy Flash Prune Juice. Yo, I could really use like some cleansing. And also because this is part of maintenance, guys. Clean your see so get your bowels clean, your colon clean. It's all part of like self care. So, I had to do that. I'm gonna drink this tonight. I hopefully, hopefully, I wake up and like. And they also, what kind of influencer would I be if I didn't buy some green juice? You know, I bought some green juice. I really like the way this tastes. From so fruit, and then you know those like last minute decisions that you make as you go pay. That's what I grabbed. And then oh, I ran out of foundation. I'm running out of foundation, so I just decided, you know what? Let me just buy it now before i run out and then this was an impulse move i bought myself a maybelline um super stay matte ink in the color escapist you guys know i love the pioneer color which is that beautiful red color so i decided to try this purple because i don't have any other lipstick and i feel like okay as much as we love the nude we love the lip gloss but it's like spring now we need some color you know what i mean and then on my way back, guys, you like a Frank, singers, singular, or biltong, guys, just to snack. It's a healthy snack. Biltong is a healthy snack. And then I also bought, I also bought um, the Essence Brow Pencil. I bought one for Nele, and this one is just for me for backup because you never want to run out of that. 
I think that's all. Oh, and then I bought myself some flowers. You guys, you must just normalize buying yourself flowers. You know what I mean? I bought myself some flowers. I'll show you guys the flowers in the morning. I'm so exhausted now. I'm going to drink my prune juice and I'm going to call it a night. See you guys tomorrow. Yo, guys. Sing more than you remember I told you that the busyness of my nails was giving me major anxiety? I bribed her with two sticks of boltong and now she's fixing them. How do you feel? I feel meaty. <laughs> How do you feel about me making you change them? I'm so, like, I'm so annoyed by you right now. Yeah. We asked for doing a phone from yesterday. Mm. Two strips of both on my feet, you can control me. But here you are doing my deal. You chose me though. Two phonuses. Hey, big ass, you go fast, then Tabin. Two phonuses. I'm trying to song Excel. <laughs> Go look for your real dad. Just cause I'm not Friend, did you notice that I got my brows threaded? No, I do. They're shaped like yeah. proper mm. But my microblading is so good. Yeah. I think I need to refresh it. I actually like it now. Really? Mm. I just want to go through that process of like healing yeah. and stuff. It's annoying. A thousand years later. <laughs> hey guys, it is literally like a hundred years later. I stopped vlogging because I have a life. <laughs> so it's Monday now. Remember last week I was at Beleza Del Mar. I loved it so much, so much that today I decided to book for me and that one. Um, so we're doing a full body massage and a facial. They have a special going on. So we thought let's take advantage of the special and have a cute little sister spa day. So we're here, come with. Gina, Gina. gonna get naked <laughs> you know, uh, when they tell you something like in the massage room, they don't use their outside voices. It's like, ma'am, I'm about to ask you to please turn over. And at the, at, at the end, they're like, okay, ma'am, thank you so much. Your massage is done. And you're like, <laughs> 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 And to her, thank you so much to Belisa Del Moor. The service is always spectacular. So now we're going to go and have some lunch. Priscilla is hopefully joining us. See you there. Who's there? Woo! <laughs> <laughs>
guys, so we decided on rustic instead of cappuccinos. I don't know, we just wanted to be one with nature, if you will. <laughs> so I'm vlogging from outside because it's really loud inside. And my last vlog got copyrighted because there was background music at the shop that I was in. I was just so annoying. So anyway, yeah, we're about to have lunch. I'm having a virgin daiquiri. I am on sober September. I don't know if I mentioned it already. But yeah, I'm just not drinking this month at all, at all, at all, at all. So I'm having a virgin daiquiri. We're about to have some lunch. Um, so my chips, I, I, I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna go back. So my chips, anyways, will kill us as well. So it's fine. Um, yeah, that's that's the vibe right now. And I'll show you guys our food, and we'll probably chat later when I'm home. Okay, I want to
not Tuesday. This is where I will conclude the vlog. Let's say it before I conclude. Oh, I'm sleepy because I literally just woke up. Um, I have er a lot of errands to run today, so I just wanted to get my day started quickly. Also, I want to film this last part so that I can edit the vlog and get it up for you guys by tomorrow. So anyway, um, I got myself a bonnet from the Satin Lady. Mm -mm -mm. You guys know I had the dog and I had the bonnet. <clears throat> it's reversible. It's so cute. Like, because my pajamas are pink and because I'm, I'm a girl, I'm a great girl. I decided to go for the pink. But anyway, you guys have seen that my hair is like really long, like really, really long. And it gets annoying when I want to shower, bath. When I want to sleep, it gets really annoying. So I'm so impressed that this bonnet is able to fit all of that in there. And it's comfortable. So shout out to the satin lady. It's only 180 if you want to get yourself yours. The quality is so good, you guys. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the end of the vlog. I had a really good couple of days. I hope that you liked watching me live my life. <laughs> it is actually so weird that you guys enjoy watching me live my life. I was telling my sister the other day, I'm like, some people are like, when are you posting a vlog? And I'm like, why? Why? Like, you know, it's weird. But I also enjoy other, watching other people, other YouTubers live their lives. So I guess it's just like, I don't know. It's just like an online friendship or something. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching. I love you. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It gets the video circulating on YouTube. So please make sure that you do like the video. You subscribe, you have not. And leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part? And also go and support Bellas Del Amor. Guys, I went back because the service is just, the ambient, everything is just tops. So please do go and support them as well. The special is still running until the 30th of September. Um, yeah, I took my mom to the spa for her birthday in January, a different spa. I took my sister to a spa for her birthday, different spa <laughs> in August. And I, like, they really loved, those were the best gifts that they've ever, like, rented and raved about so if you have if you have if you are looking for a gift idea it's definitely the perfect one it's only 500 grand for a full body massage and a facial oh you guys i have good skin so but still you know it's, it feels good yeah that's it for me